How can I alleviate human suffering? Why don't people seek help? What can I do for individual people that can help make you know this a better place? Questions like this one from Thomas Brewer, deeply concerned students at Palo Alto University, one of the world's premier psychology institutions. Palo Alto University is it's like a diamond in the rough has not quite been discovered. In the heart of Silicon Valley, get nestled within a natural landscape where future leaders and innovators grow, experiment, and reach far into our society. Whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in uh, the business sector, whether it's in HR, everywhere you go, psychology has something to do with what everyday life is. The everyday life of the Palo Alto University community orients toward positive social impact. Cultural context in which mental illness is, is either very stigmatized or not talked about at all or um, you know just not part of the day-to-day the -day experience that people are, are comfortable with. Students and faculty live the reality of community service through growing undergraduate and online programs, internationally recognized master degree courses, and through its distinguished doctoral program. Providing a curriculum and courses that are demanding, difficult, and challenging for our students uh, um, and to make them think and learn at the highest level possible. The first uh, word that comes to my mind when I think of PAU is culture. Caring, hardworking, determined, compassionate, and driven. A community to help others. The university generates new knowledge through its clinical services, scholarly research, and diverse partnerships, including Stanford School of Medicine and the Department of Veterans Affairs. One of the reasons I came here was because PAU had the opportunity to work at a community mental health clinic in your second year. And this wasn't something that any of the other programs I was considering had for their students. Palo Alto University's mission, Engaging Minds, Improving Lives, means that the university's mental health professionals work across the globe to help people facing a variety of challenges. One of my major goals is to make psychological interventions accessible to as many people as possible. I think being in the heart of Silicon Valley, it sets us up to be the leader in psychology for the, the rest of the world. We're in the 21st century now. We need to be training psychologists to use these tools that are available to us now that can reach the world. The university is inventing tools to prepare a new breed of psychologists for 21st century realities. We do need to make that transition to remain viable and actually help people because the world is changing. Tools which will finally make psychologists easily discoverable and accessible to people in far corners of the world. What we are focusing on is our self-help automated interventions, which means that people can use them any time of day or night, anytime, anywhere in the world, as long as they have access to the web or access to a mobile device that has an app that we have developed. If we can develop internet interventions in English and Spanish, Chinese, Russian, Arabic, you know, we can reach many more people. And once we develop them here, we can share them with the world. My goal in life would be that going to therapy would be just as regular as going for a doctor's checkup. That's something I would like to see in my lifetime. Some begin their careers after graduation, while others move on to get their PhD. They go off and have their careers as licensed professionals. Our students are, are very successful um, at finding jobs after graduation. Here we can see where it all begins for students on campus in Dr. Sita Patel's classroom. Mm -hmm. I think part of what you'll all find as you start in the Gronowski Center is Conducting therapy keeps you on your toes, <laughs> right? All of these examples are great ones of, you know, kind of going in and then having to spontaneously shift gears. And I think that's one of the things that's really um, challenging about starting to do therapy. I, I may have said this to you already, but I, I always remember um, the clinic director at my graduate training program saying that one hour of therapy as a trainee felt like eight hours for her. I value faculty tremendously. I mean, they're the engine of, the, of this university. We have some of the best faculty in the world, bar none, in the field of psychology. They all provided a transformational experience for me. There's so many different areas of expertise all coming together. I'm getting to take advantage of a lot of great minds. 
Palo Alto University prepared me to be able to do what I want to do with the rest of my life.